Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So uh, back with another video and this time we'll do mirroring between GitHub and GitLab. So mirroring repositories basically means that if I head back to my um, GitLab repository and uh, so this is a private repository between uh, my teammates and I and basically what, what is mirroring repository is that if I make some commits to my GitLab repository, then what I would want is I wouldn't want these commits to be reflected on my public GitHub repository as well. So whatever commits I make here, I want those commits to come up here as well. So that's basically mirroring two repositories. So uh, in my case, it's GitLab and GitHub. It can also be possible with Bitbucket and um, other such repository management tools. So let's begin. So I have made down this um, simple um documentation uh, for how to follow mirror repositories so i'll paste this in the comment section of this youtube video so let's get started so uh first of all what is the first thing that you'll need you'll need your uh repository you need two repositories that's all so in my case it, one is private repository and the other is a public repository so private repository on gitlab and public repository on github so let's begin so what i need to do is i need to go to settings repository and mirrored repository. So settings, repository, and I'll need to go to mirroring repository. I'll expand this. Here it says that uh, set up your project to automatically push or pull changes, and it's asking for the repository URL. So for that, what you need to do is you need to head back to GitHub, and then this is a sample public repository that I had created some an hour ago. I'm going to copy its SSH, and I'm going to paste it here. So that's one part of this, but as you can see that if I head out of this text field, it gives an error. So it's not in a correct format. To bring it to the correct format, we need to make sure that we add ssh colon slash slash and between your name and dot com slash. So you make that and then it recognizes the entire URL, which is leading to this repository. And here you need to mention the mirror direction. So pull, if the mirror direction is pull, that means you make a commit to your public repository and it gets reflected to your private repository. But I need to go for a push because I'm going to make my commits in the private repository. So you push it, you detect the host keys. And then once that's done, then we click on mirror, we click on mirror repository. So then that uh, that takes care of mirroring the repository. Now what happens is uh, we we can update it from here. So let's head back here. We, we put the action push, we detected the host keys, and then we clicked on mirror repository. So now let's head back to our GitLab. And let's click a update now and let's see if it works. And then it says last update attempt. Oh, oops. It says last update attempt just now. And then we'll head back to our GitHub and refresh and see if it's mirrored or no. So as you can see, it's not mirrored yet. So this is an open issue with GitLab. Uh, that's it doesn't sometimes it just doesn't work. So uh, there's another thing that you need to do. So this is a setup between GitLab and GitHub. Uh, and I forgot to mention there's one more thing that we need to do after this. We need to copy SSH public key from GitLab, head to GitHub in your repository uh, project, go to settings. Then uh, in your repository, go to deploy key, settings and deploy keys, add deploy key. We can call this mirror keys and then paste the SSH key here. Allow write access, add key. So now they so this makes sure that there's a connection between this GitLab and this GitHub. So now that we completed that, let's try refreshing. OK, it says it's updating. We'll give it a minute. So this happened and I can just quickly mention it here. Copy SSH key from GitLab and paste it in GitHub. So. So this is it and then how it proceeds is you in your github repository 
we need to go to settings. We need to go to deploy keys and then we need to paste it there. So it gets pasted there. Now let's head back to GitLab and see if it's updated. We just quickly do a refresh. And then it says there's an error. So the error says that uh, permission did not could not read from remote repository. So this happens. We'll click on another update now. It's good that this error has come up. Uh, it will most likely come up for everybody. So we'll try it out with making a push command. So this is my uh, repository. This is the GitLab repository that I'm working on. So I'll start off with an npm start here. And then I'll head back here. And if I go to my repository, just quickly cross check. Yeah. So the push, the commit didn't happen. So what we'll do this time is we'll delete, we'll remove this, and we'll proceed with it again. And then mirror direction push, detect host keys, and then mirror the repository. We'll do it again. And again, we'll copy the SSH public key. Copy, head back to this GitHub, go to settings, and then go to deploy keys. And then delete the existing one. Add deploy key. Mirror key, paste it. Allow right access, add key. Going to repeat the process again. This time, go head back to GitLab, a quick refresh, and then update now. So we'll say update, and then let's wait for this. It says updating, and then we'll get to know if it was successful or not this time. So I'll head back to I'll head back to our repo. And as you can see, it was successful. So all my branches that I had created have come here successfully. If I just quickly head back here to my repository, I can show you uh, what I have been working on. So there were three um, uh, branches that I had created and my code. So if I head back to GitHub, you can see all the three branches are there and the code for that as well. So that is the successful mirroring between um, GitLab and GitHub, between a private repository and a public repository. 